Hey guys, this is Matt Core from controlpaint.com. And today we're gonna to start talking about a really important topic. And that is the idea of selections. The more I paint, the more I realize that selections are about half of the work. And if you get good at them, you just can do more painting. So to start this mini series off, let's go to the very basic idea, which is to just use the lasso tool to just isolate part of the image. Cause that's what all this is about. So if I want to select just this sort of dark shadow area under here, I just draw my uh, polygon lasso, and once I complete it, I have these marching ants. Then, as you know, I can just paint inside of it. So here I don't have to worry about going outside of the lines. I can add extra paint strokes, you know, paint like big aggressive marks, and it does a really nice job containing my strokes. Then you hit Control D or Command D on a Mac, and you've lost the selection. And that's great. From a very basic standpoint, this is a useful tool. You can see how I got these nice clean edges, and I didn't have to worry about going outside the borders. But saving those selections, I'd argue, is actually just as important, because I might want to come back to this same area in the painting. So why go through that whole masking business twice? So let me undo a couple times, and I have my selection back again. Okay, now the term I'm going to use for this is not something that will Google very well. It's just a personal shorthand, but I use it on the site all the time. So what I call this is a selection layer in which I make a new layer, fill it with some very visible color. Here, I'll just use pure black. Color doesn't matter. Deselect it. And then I will generally color code that layer red and then hide it. And that's it. So this layer's only purpose is to be invisible on my layer stack. But when I want that selection back again, all I do is hover over the layer's thumbnail, hold down the control key, and then left click. And now I have that selection back again. This is just a different way to do what's called saved selection. It saves you a couple clicks. And I think it just works nicely because it lives here right in your layer stack. So let's make one more just to make this point really clear. So if I want to select this window shape, just using the polygon lasso, selecting the shape I want, make a new layer, fill it with any solid color. Here I'll use just bright blue, because why not? Deselect, color code it red, just because I like to stay organized, and then hide it. So now I've got two different areas that I can call their selections up on. I can control click on the window area, control click on the sort of archway area here, and I can just go back and forth. Making these selections just became a lot easier for the entire rest of the painting. So this is what I call selection layers. A way to make this even better is if you get a little more organized and name them. So I'll call this one doorway and this one mid windows. This way, once you start getting lots of layers, you don't have to worry about, you know, oh, which one was which, I forgot. Want to take it one step further? Select all of your red color-coded layers and put them into a layer group, which you can even color code red itself. And this then is just your selections. Now, whenever you want a selection, you can just expand that. And then you have a couple named layers and you can call up the selection and then paint in the brush strokes. So my argument is that selecting an area of the image, isolating it from the rest of the painting, then allows you so much more control. It means you can make you know, what would be a huge, big brush stroke can just stay inside the lines because you've isolated that part of the image. So it just allows you to be more gestural and more fluid because you don't have to worry about going outside of the lines. It is in your best interest to figure out how to make selections. What I call selection layers are really just the beginning. And for the rest of this mini series, I'm gonna talk about different ways to have total control over making and saving selections. So stay tuned and you are gonna become a selection master. Thanks for coming to the site, guys.